the following is a technical analysis on TJX, a company of the consumer cyclical sector and apparel stores here off the daily interval where it is a laughable uh, decree where we have a uh, Wall Street analyst consistently exaggerate earnings projections for the upcoming year by more than some odd times on end, 20, 30, 40 to 50 percent only to later revise them downward quarter after quarter subsequently declaring beats for the now lower profits and this pattern has persisted for years uh, on end uh, with Goldman Sachs uh, it seems to favor always seems to favor the fail upward approach uh, it's unclear who engages in more dishonesty whether it's the analyst or government entities but what promises to be a significant turning point within the horizon after a three-year hiatus due to the pandemic we have now around 28 million U.S. student loan borrowers that are once again confronting their student loan responsibilities, all while grappling with uh, uncontrolled rampant inflation. And in fact, I read an article where numerous uh, loan administrators have cut staff uh, relying on outdated computer systems and or offer inadequate training, uh, just an all out complete mess overall where this situation could have been averted. If educational institutions were financing student loans from their own pension funds and or endowments, thereby having a vested interest within the student's post-degree success, and as it currently stands, they're merely just shunning out a large number of individuals ill-equipped for meaningful employment. The only other words describe it as pure, utter chaos. And I believe we've reached a critical turning point within this stock with potential retail downward movements, and we have this primary major price support reactionary low uptrend line off the September call it multi-year price support level where we have constructed a very well-defined divergent high with the negative and bearish divergences constructed amongst both indicators there in the oscillator in the Wilders RSI with additional Wilders uh, relative strength index exaggerated bearish and negative divergence right amongst that key inflection point and I believe we've reached a critical juncture trading right above hovering on for dear life off the 8823 price support and what it appears to be a well-defined island cluster top of consolidation. Uh, and I believe a, a solid daily counter close below that key inflection point ought to usher in a sell signal, potential sell signal on a complete backfill the gap down to 84 41 price support. And that is a very significant turning point as well, coinciding with the 50 exponential and 50 day moving average, call it a dual line of surprise support, which would need to be defended heavily amongst long traders and or bull traders, additionally long-term investors. And again, these are just long-term dollar cost average zones uh, to add to your existing position if you're a long-term believer in TJ Maxx right off this key inflection point. Additionally, a uh, price support, big price support of the 8268, call it multi-year price support level. And then and then additionally, you have the primary reactionary uptrend line. If we take that level out, you know, put in an additional sell signal, in my opinion, uh, for a much larger potential big move to the downside or a ton of stops to go off, margin calls, which I would only suspect in an ushering of a much larger big wave of selling. Zooming you in here on the charts and just taken out to that level down to the 84.41, which would be good for a 3.4% drop down to the primary reactionary uptrend line coinciding with the 82.68 price support for a 6.4% crash. And talk about transitioning pivot points right off the price percent oscillator, just trading slightly below that potential bearish crossover there. And that would just add to, in a break of that 88.23 level, would confirm the exaggerated near term bearish crossover there in the price percent oscillator only increasing the odds for a much larger move to the downside whereas you have the oscillator histogram a uh, barely waning out here like a sputtering light only creating minor uh, green candle prints above that key inflection point whereas short sellers bear traders want to see a solid red candle close below that zero line threshold which has been a very well-defined indicator in the past of additional corrections here whereas that first red candle close issued in a two percent crash move to the downside Additionally, a red first red candle close on a on a larger move down for a 3.2% crash. First red candle close here in the oscillator back in January, which was good for a double-digit 10.9% crash. Back in August of 2022, was good for an 11.7 double-digit percent crash. June of 2022, additionally, was good for an 11% crash. And additionally, back in April, which was good for a 14.5% crash. So, Take it as you will, we are at a key pivotal inflection point within the technical realm and again, the fundamental catalyst for a much larger move to the downside if and when the issuance of student loan payments are born. As for the bullish case scenario, long traders, bull traders, they want to defend this 88.23 price support really at all cost in a continuation of consolidation on a prolonged on a snapback counter churn rally at an attempt to burn out and negate these negative and bearish divergences 
that have constructed on the near term and near term equal high exaggerated bearish divergence on a in a much larger move and or wave of buying to the upside to to additionally infuse health back into the near term damage that has been inflicted here within the technical momentum indicator space